Coming up on today's recap, a new EPT champion has been crowned. Who got the best of the four-way deal and the biggest hands that delivered us a winner? Domination rotation. This is the PokerStars EPT Prague main event daily roundup. After a nearly record-breaking field of 1,190 total entries and six days of play, we finally have a winner. And more than 5.7 million euros were awarded, with the winner taking home nearly 700,000 euros. But who were the final six competing for the title? In the one seat, South Korean Gab Yong Kim. He bubbled the final table at the last EPT Prague, but headed into the day, he'd already guaranteed himself a bigger score. The two-seat featured Andrea Cordelazzi. This Italian never dipped below an average stack for the entire tournament. In seat number three was 25-year-old Armin Rezii. At the start of play, the Austrian had already locked up his best ever EPT cash. Seat four was Greek player Simeon Alexandritis. He calls himself a semi-pro with 164,000 in live earnings. Seat five is 27-year-old Dimitrio Caminita, another Italian playing professionally since he was 19 years old. And in the sixth and final seat, Poker Stars qualifier Shagor's Glovny, who qualified via a 530 euro satellite. His stack was a real roller coaster. So how did we get from six to champion? Well, I'm about to show you, geez, calm down. Only a few hands into the day, we saw the biggest pot of the tournament. So it is Zhegoj Glovny with ace king of diamonds. And he is raising from the cutoff. 325,000. Kapion Kim has ace jack and flats. Small round two, Armin Rezai in the big, who's got ace queen. Oh dear. Oh wow. Oh wow. The ultimate squeeze from Rezai moving all in for just shy of five million. And what a decision for Glovny to call off most of his stack with ace king, knowing that there's still a player to act behind. I don't think there's any chance that Glovney can get away from his hand, but it, you know, as you say, it's still so many chips and it's so meaningful at this stage in the tournament. 60k pay jump next. Well, he has called. Kim's folded on their backs and Rezai is at risk and way behind. And look at the pot total. This is the biggest pot of the tournament so far. Mm -hmm. Ten and a half million for for Deuce. No hearts. Oh. Four on the turn. Eleven percent chance of a chop. But still an 81% chance that we will lose Armin Rezai in sixth place. Yeah. The river is a 10, and he is the first player out from the final table. Armin Rezai cashing for just shy of 182,000 euros. And as we go five-handed, there is a new chip leader. And that chip leader was Shagar Glovny. A couple of hands later, action folded to Dimitro Kamenita in the small blind with Glovny behind in the big. Eight, six of diamonds for the short stack. He announces all in, he's presented with the triangle. Snap called by Glovny, who's got pocket fives. And this is not a classic race, but it is nonetheless a race. A race. Nick Caldick and so did Glovny. Ze small blinda wsunął short stack. Yy, on ma 8-6 suited, ja piątki. Fake flip, let's go. Five of clubs. Did you say fake flip? <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Kamenita at risk and does not connect with the flop in any meaningful way. Just a single diamond. 
71% chance we lose Caminita in fifth place. No diamond draw, needs an eight or a six on the river, just five outs remaining. And fives hold, and we lose another player. Another player eliminated by chip leader, Zegos Glovny, and it is Dimitro Kamenita from Sicily who cashes out for 245,870 euros, leaving us with the final four. Deal talk was pretty much over as soon as it began. I would like to keep playing. Yeah. Don't. Keep playing? Yep. yep. Okay. Thank you. What followed was one of the most crucial hands of the tournament. Gabion Kim versus Simeon Alexandritis. You'll never believe what happened. Okay, you're already watching. No need for the clickbait. Alexandritis feeling real smug right now about the deal being shot down. He's like, all right, cool, let's play. Ace, queen, race. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if anybody's gonna be defending their big blind, it's going to be one of the biggest stacks of Taylor here. Kim does come along with 8-6. And look at this flop <laughs> with the six of clubs blocker in his hand as well. Again, not that dissimilar from flopping the flush draw before. Oh, I really like if Kim leads this turn. He decides to check instead, though. The king, obviously, a little bit of a scare card. Yeah. You know, your opponents are going to check black back plenty of king x on this flop. Ooh, it's small though. He went really small with the with the bet on this turn. Any chance he was setting up a check race? Potentially. Yeah, I think maybe. Potentially. Uh, just a call. He's got too I think he's got too much of a too much of a good price here to try yeah. and check raise. Right. <laughs> and that is just about as good as it gets right there. Hits the straight on the wow. river. Sleazy game. Leads for 500. Alexander Hedis does have the opportunity to turn his hand into bluff, though. He's blocking the queen 10. He's blocking the hearts. Yeah, and if you're like a live reads player, I kind of feel like that snap rate, that snap bet there does not look super strong. I would love if you raised here. That would be so cool. Why do you hate Alexander Hedis? Oh man, he just raised it up to 1.5 million. And now I guess Kim's got to be a little bit worried about the hearts. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, I think the way the hand is played, I think the backdoor flush makes a lot of sense. Absolutely, or indeed Queen 10. I do like the play though. I really do, and I think he, I think it will work a lot of the time. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is, yeah, like Joe said, it. I, I obviously. We can obviously see the cards, but I just really appreciate the heart of this play. The fake heart. He's played two time bank cards, makes a call, and wins a huge pot from Simeon Alexandridis, who now becomes the short stack at this four-handed table. Shortly after, Glovny's stack faded faster than your attention span. With right around 20 big blinds, he picked up ace-jack under the gun. Ace-jack for Glovny under the gun. Got about 20 big blinds here. Makes it 400,000, and we've got ace-king for Kim. Uh -oh. Kim in particular has been three betting him very, very aggressively, and I think that's what we're going to see here every time. Playing a time bank card, buying an additional 30 seconds thinking time. Clefney's been playing it pretty cool so far, but he looked a little bit nervous there. All in. All in. He is all in. And Kim calls. And we have a domination situation. Kim with the best hand. Glovny, the at-risk player, he's behind. And there is a 70% chance that Glovny, the player who refused to even consider the deal numbers, is going to go out in fourth place. To Gabby on Kim, oh, his stack has gone down and down and down. The flop. Oh, man. 
has a jack oh. on it. Holy oh, shit. Domination rotation. And now, Glovney set for a double up. Come on, King, well, Queen is good. Yeah, Fed is good. Pick your cup. Fed, well, the deuce of spades is a good card for Kim. Lovny now has to fade Kings and yeah, spades. Yeah, oh, Fed. Look. The river card. No. Is another jack, yeah. and it is a double up for Glovny. He survives and is back in contention. What am I? What oh, wow, I? what a reversal. Glovny, who denied ah. the deal not that long ago, dwindling down to just 20 big blinds and gets the full double back up to 9.4 million. And there's a lot more play left in this tournament, James. And he's almost tied at the top with Kim now. <laughs> this brush with death changed Glovny's tune. After the next break, the players decided to once again look at the numbers. Yeah, if you win, you get 720. For me, it's okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I get <laughs> half a million. Yeah. I'm okay as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have a deal. Yeah. Okay, guys. Good deal. Yeah. Good luck. Gab Yong Kim took the lion's share worth 622K. Glovny received 581,000. Kordalazzi scored 579,000. And Alex Andritis signed on the dotted line for 497,000 euros. 10% of the prize pool was left to play for, amounting to 110,000 euros, not to mention the title and trophy. With the deal in place, play got a little wacky. All ins followed. Gab Yong Kim exited first, two pair not strong enough to beat Cordelesi's flush. Three players remained, or as I like to call it, threads up. Just really nice to have an easy open with the ace on the button. Now, not a. Uh, uh, an amazing premium oh, yeah. or something, but just blocking the three bets or the or indeed, in fact, with his stack, feels that he can just open shove for 20 big blinds. And oh. wow! Oh, Alexandridis is now the shortest stack, so this is all into call. Yeah, and really finding himself with not just the bottom of you know the calling range, but happened to just, no, just have Lovny out kicked, and that's why we see the call. Okay, so Alexandridis is the at-risk player here. He has the triangle against his cards and against his name, but he does have the best hand here. Here we go, the flop. Has two spades on it. Well, that's not too bad for Alexandridis. He's got the nine of spades. So Alexandridis, three to one favorite to double up. Eight on the turn. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And I'll now, say. and now, Alexandridis needs a nine on the river to survive. We could be going heads up. We could be down to the final two. It's always coming seven, but sometimes it comes eight. <laughs> the river is not a nine, it's another deuce. And we finally lose a player in third place. And that is Simeon Alexandridis from Greece. Okay. At the start of heads-up play between Kordalazi and Glovny, Kordalazi held a slight chip lead over Glovny, 48 big blinds to 40. After a Kordalazi shove vest, all in, all in, all in, all in. the following two hands happened back to back. Ooh, queens for Glovny, and, and the he limp. just oh, completes. He knows what to do. Yes, he's got him, yep. he's got him. Oh. He's guaranteed he's got him. Yes. Kortolazzi does not change his strategy. He jams on Glovny, who calls all in with the Queens. Disaster for the Italian. Well, hold on. Hold on. He's got an ace. Many people believe there is always an ace on the desk. And Glovny is the at-risk player. And if Kortolazzi does improve her, if he were to spike that ace, this would be over. And the Italian would take down EPT Prague. No ace on the flop. Jack 5-5. Five, five. Queen's good. Not a good start for Kortolazzi. Gonna need an ace. No back doors here. No wheel back doors. No nothing. Only an ace from space. Only a berry. Dobre. Dobre. 
make that a 93% chance. Just has to fade Barry Greenstein. Just has to fade the ace on the river. If that happens, we have our champion. The river cards are 10. Glovny doubles up and takes the commanding ship lead. That is a huge, huge momentum shift. And that's a rail. That's what gentlemen. a rail looks like. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that rail. Eight four, and he's all in. Kortsalati shelves with eight four of clubs. It. He's Snap got it. Called. Quick call. Cards on the back is King Queen of Clubs for Glovny. Yeah, Krul Dama Suters. On 8-4. And now it is the Poker Star qualifier who is the two to one favourite to win EPT Prague. 10-7 deuce. King High still ahead. Of course, Kortolazzi does nie not ma, have ma. a live suit. Nie no, wiadomo, że ma, nie ma. Glovny, three to one favorite. Six, four, five. Yeah! 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 And that will seal the deal on the turn. Kortolazzi drawing dead. And Zhegos Glovny has taken down EPT Prague for just shy of 700,000 euros. And he can celebrate with his girlfriend, Annette. It's been over two years since a trophy has been lifted on this stage, but the Poker Stars EPT is back, outlasting a field of 1,190 players and taking home nearly 700,000 euros. Let's get a big round of applause for our EPT Prague main event champion. I'm super happy and super grateful. It's amazing. All, all these guys were tough. Yeah, I respect them very much, and it was it was a tough battle. This is my first EPT, so pff, I'm amazed. This is an awesome festival, and I can't wait for more. Subscribe to the Poker Stars YouTube channel because the EPT is back, baby.